Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is an update on the garden bed. It's about 90% complete. We have a couple different ceilings that are pretty slow germinators, so we're still waiting on those. But kind of going from one end right here, um, as you can see, we have four corn sproutlings. They're doing really well, especially these back two right here. Uh, really thick stalks, starting to get their fifth leaf going as well. Um, I'm noticing it's a little bit slow. I maybe try and do something to adhere nitrogen to the soil or fix nitrogen to the soil. As you can see right here, this is a little marigold. Uh, this is a flower. And although it's not edible in any way for us, it's a big companion plant for the corn. Uh, it prevents against a big pest of theirs, a corn and a tomato, I believe it's a worm. Um, going towards uh, the camera end and everything, you can see the cucumbers. Now the cucumbers are a little bit close to the wall, but that's okay. Since it is a vine crop, it can drape over. Um, they can even be close to the corn as well, because as the corn gets established, the vine can wrap around it without choking it. It can act as a natural trellis. Going down the road, uh, going down the row here, these are all radishes, these four sproutlings here. Um, this one's doing really well, lots of leaf development. Uh, so I know that's getting plenty of nutrients and everything. Um, so these should be really good radishes. Radishes don't take that long to grow. They um, actually should be producing probably within the next month, I'd imagine. Um, further going down, these are the onions. And I don't know if my shadow's messing that up, but these are these thin little sproutlings here. They're gonna continue sprouting. You're probably gonna get about four or five ends coming off. These are gonna bulb and everything. Onions do take a while. It's probably going to be about another two months before they're even close to being ready. Going further down, this was not uh, part of the seedling. We actually just bought this at uh, Lowe's, but it was a nice deal. It had a nice decomposing pot that it was planted in, but this is a strawberry plant. And although it came with all these leaves already developed, there are some flowers that are forming. So the flowers will be producing the fruit. So it's very nice that these are starting to bud, which means it's gonna be a, a good crop, hopefully in a, maybe about a month or two. Now the strawberries are a companion plant for the onions and vice versa. They help with the soil nutrients. So also down the row here, we have two little basils that we just transplanted recently. Um, now the basil is a companion plant for the tomatoes, which are planted right around here. Now the tomatoes, just like the corn, need their space. Um, you all may be familiar with the fact that tomatoes have the cages around them when they grow. They don't have to, but if you want the best crop, it's best that you have the cages, which means you need about at least a good square foot for each tomato plant. Now the basil, you do want close to the tomato, as, as close as, uh, to the tomato as possible. It does actually increase the yields. Uh, there's been countless studies. Basil can increase tomato yields as much as 25%. Um, so as long as they're about 10 inches away from the plants, they'll be helping out. So yeah, that's our bed right now. We do also have a lettuce to transplant and an eggplant. Uh, sorry about the cut right there. We did just have an airplane fly over us. Um, so anyway, we are still waiting to transplant the lettuce and eggplant. Uh, so that's going to be going into a little corner right there. So you may have noticed that I had these little pinwheels set up along my bed as well as the chicken wire. Uh, within a couple days after building this bed, we noticed that some animals were walking across it, most likely a raccoon. So we did put the chicken wire to prevent against that, and uh, afterwards we noticed no more footprints. And then the pinwheels are also a little deterrent. If they're waving in the wind, shining and everything, hopefully they keep any, uh, any raccoons or squirrels or anything, uh, anything like that away. But yeah, so far the bed is looking uh, pretty well right now. Again, we're looking to plant a few more crops in there. It's nearly complete, but we're just going to be keeping an eye on this, hopefully doing weekly updates, hopefully when there's any substantial growth to really note. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, anything. Maybe give me some advice. I'd love it. But, uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.